So we're just going to go over some standard chiropractic adjustments. Uh, how are you feeling today, Mickey? Pretty good. Yeah? Anything mm -hmm. tight or restricted? or? A little in the neck. I little. slept kind of weird and just was noticing my range, range of motion. motions. Yeah, a bit off, but I, I almost feel like it's left side neck but right shoulder. It's okay. almost like kind of a crossover. I think I just kind of slept. Okay, and the mid thoracic area, any breathing issues or anything like that? Or? Left side. Left side. Yeah, okay. left side, um, kind of mid thoracic. And low back? Uh, yeah, my lots. That's always. Always, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to actually get you to just lie on your back here to be. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So, yeah, you're usually pretty tight in a few areas here. Yeah. So, I'm going to just check out the mid thoracic area okay. a bit first. Come down a bit. Grab your shoulders here, and let me just get in there. Oh, you're tight up here, aren't you? Yeah. Super tight. Okay, so when I ask you to, I'm going to get you to raise your head off the table here. Okay. Bring your head up. Good. One more time. Good. All the way up. Oh, man. All the way down. You're just jammed <laughs> right in there. <laughs> okay. Oh. Just going to check to see how these... You okay? Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of kind of stuck here a little bit. Upside, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Turn on your side towards me, please. Okay, so I'm just gonna take your body over here a little bit and bring this in. You okay? Oh yeah. Down. Okay, that's not moving quite right. <laughs> Down. Good. Other side. That's a bit better. Okay? Yeah. Down. Good. There we go. We've got a release. How are the feet and hands doing these days? They're good. Yeah. I'm noticing um, sometimes numbness and tingling in my toes. In your toes? Okay. Yeah. Alright. That's weird. Okay, so. Okay. No, that's not moving. No. No? <laughs> lateral flexion. Actually, both rotation and lateral flexion. Yeah. Majority of your rotation takes place in the upper cervical vertebrae, yeah. lower cervical vertebrae. I'm talking lateral flexion, so I think we'll probably, yeah, it does not feel too good right there. Oh. Let's mobilize it a little bit first, give some range of motion. Doing okay there? Oh, yeah. Good. Let your head drop slightly over down. Thank you. One more time, back over. Now, let's draw. Oh, I can actually look behind me. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> let your head go over and let it go back. That's oh, way better. You know, you can tell me about your feet. Let me just take a quick look here and see what's going on here. Yeah, my, um, it'll be periodic times of the day. All of a sudden, it'll be big toe, second toe, third toe, all of a sudden just go gone and it's not from sitting for too long or anything. It'll okay. all of a sudden just be in his both sides. Okay, all right. I mean, you've got pretty good mobility, Darcy. Yeah. No reflection, no problem there. I think it might be my footwear, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Let this down. Yep. Yeah. First metatarsal is jammed in there pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, and pain in there too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wearing, just wearing particular shoes? Or? Runners. I've been wearing runners. So really? So yeah. no, no major problem there otherwise? No. Okay. So this is a common thing we do in terms of not just back adjustments, but taking a look at the extremities of it too and just seeing whether or not there's a restriction. Yeah, that navicular was jammed in there pretty good. That's the one that I sprained too. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And let me just take a while we're here. Mm -hmm. Let me take a quick look at your hands. Always feels good to have your hands worked out a bit. So Most people carry a lot of tension throughout the thenar area, but the thumb there. Mm -hmm. You okay there? Yeah. Good. That's just nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
joke with patients, the fingers hardly ever come off. Yep. <laughs> Carrying a lot of tension through our hands and mm -hmm. don't even realize it. Okay, let's see the other one. There. Doing okay? Oh, yes. Good. So there's a really important point that I want to make and it has to do with uh, force distribution. Patients will come in and will have an area that's really tight and they don't realize another area is also restricted. And they say, oh, this is where my problem is, so just work in this area. But if they have this restriction in another part of the spine, then the whole spine won't work as one functional unit. So I'll just get the uh, skeleton here and you'll see, let's say a restriction in the low back. And yet, that's what they feel symptomatically. And yet, there's another restriction farther up. When they go in to try and flex over, or move, lateral flexion, the forces should be distributed through the entire spine. But it won't be if we have a restriction in another area. So really important that we don't just look at the area that's symptomatic, but we consider all parts of that whole kinetic chain. Really effective way of relieving stress, and it really does help to improve the overall quality of your life.